Hello, welcome back to Pipe Bending By. I, today I'm going to show you how to do this bend, pass it over a timber block by eye. So, no rulers, no protractors, no pencils, just your eye. Okay, so this is plumbing by eye. So, all I'm going to be using. It's just, there's no rulers, I've just got my pipe bender, and this is what I'm going to be passing over, okay? Right, so I've got, the only thing I have got is 500 mil of pipe. If you find them, right, okay, so what we're going to do, first job. Find the middle of our piece of work, which is there. Work out the middle, which is about there. And then put our thumb on the edge there. What we then do, go to our pipe bender. And go to our pipe bender, which is there. Bend this, bend it 30 degrees, which is there. Uh, then go to our pipe bender. Bend it 30 degrees, which is get it straight first. Uh, bend that 30 degrees, this is there, like that, like that, and our block of wood, what we then do, um, bend our block of wood, It's all straight. Uh, so looking down the line. is how you bend it by eye, folks. Let me talk you through how I've done this. There's only really one mark you need, okay? So to do this, okay, you need to know the center of your 30 degree bend. Consider this mark a permanent mark. You should always have it on your pipe bender. So it's touching, touching. And it's straight with the pipe. We then do a little mark there. Consider that to be a permanent, you always scratch it in. It's a permanent mark, in case of for this. I worked out the middle of my pipe. So I know it's just there, for example, it's the tip there. So 
that's the middle there. Look my, I then worked out the middle of this. I looked at it. So the middle's, so the middle is there. Right, the next thing I done was I, I gauged how high it is. So to, from my experience, this would need to be 30 degrees, okay? 45 might be a bit too steep for it to fit in the former. Okay, so we're gonna bend this 30 and 30 degrees. All right, so what I then done, put my thumb there. Okay, it's not moved. And that thumb mark touches the, see the third, see so this line here, that's touching there, like that. Like that. And what I am going to do this time is I'm going to use, so I'm going to bend it to the middle of the pipe, just touching the middle of the mark on the pipe bender. So the middle of the pipe is touching the middle there. All right, before I take it out, put my finger back on the 30 mark there. It doesn't matter if you lose it, but it doesn't really matter. Right, then what I've done, went back, and then to there, like that, like that. Went back to the pipe bender, so again, the thumb is so the 30 mark is going to touch the 30 mark, the sense with a 30 degree bend there, to there. Put the guide in. Make sure everything was Straight. It's about there. And then bent this one 30 degrees. So the middle of the pipe's touching the middle of the line. The middle of the pipe is touching the 30 degree mark. It's there. Take it out. This is what I've done so far. That's right, so what I've done. I've got myself scrap piece of pipe, like that, and to put my thumb just touching the top of it, so it's not moving, I've not moved it, like that. That's what I then do. So my thumb, is just gonna move it in if it's just touching where the Former stops like that. Okay. And I then take that out, turn that round. And I then make sure everything's straight. I then bend that back 30 degrees, which is up there. And take it out. Right. I then and then go back to the so I put my thumb, I'll show you again. Thumb's just touching the top of the pipe, which is there. Not gonna move my thumb. Follow me round with a camera. Follow me round. Right, so I put this in, but my thumb's not moving. So my thumb is just gonna, just gonna touch the fullness, just 
I'm just going to start there, the start mark, and then put the guide in, which is there. We then eye it up, make sure it's straight. We then bend it back around 30 degrees. I'm looking at the line there, which is about there. Like that. And take it out. Like that. Right, so we then push the pipe in. Make sure the gaps are the same. From there to there. Okay, and that is how you do it by eye. Does the job. Does the job. Now you know how to bend this by eye. It's your turn to have a go. I'm going to show you how to pass over a timber block by eye. So no rulers, no folding rulers. Fuck it. Right. Hello, welcome back to 